Hey Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for Spiegel Mom Scraps to share with you a 80s, 90s layout that I created for the channel. If you shop at the store and you use the code SUSANNA15, you can save 15% off of your entire purchase. I um, am sorry that the video cut into the beginning here, but I actually missed the beginning of the videoing. And I will tell you that this video um, goes by pretty quickly because it was actually an hour in the making of what video I did get. And so I did speed it up pretty quickly so that you could see the whole video without it taking as long as the actual process of this layout put together took. So what I did was I took colors from what I felt were 80s colors. Um, I have the hot pink, um, a very bright yellow, black and whites, and an aqua color. And I decided to create a giant title using um, deco from the 80s. Uh, I literally just pulled out papers and wung it um, to use uh, a lot of that zigzag shape that I think they used a lot of in the 80s and geometrics. So I have triangles um, and circles and between the combination of washi and strips of paper and circles and triangles I just created a fun layout of this picture of me back in high school in what I believe was 1988-ish. Um, I don't actually have a date for this picture. I remember where it was. We were in Hong Kong. That's where I grew up. Um, and I have other support pictures to go with it. And my boyfriend at the time, um, was a senior because he was a year older than me, so I was a junior. Um, so that's how I'm dating this picture, but I may be wrong. And so I basically, I'm gonna fast forward through using strips of washi, um, and I do realize that I have spelt totally wrong up there, and you will see that I go in and put that second, I, I knew that that was gonna be an L, um, and I didn't leave enough space for that. But as you can see, I, I don't adhere anything down. When we get to the back half of this video, I have sped this up to about six times because I, you don't need to see me adhere what I've already um, take laboriously put many efforts through to lay down on the paper. So I do leave the bottom of the L out, I leave an L out, and I leave that G because um, it was easy to do the straight letters like the T, the O, um, but I was a little stumped on the G and it wasn't until I got to the end that I came up with an idea of how I was going to get that G done. Um, the I did mount it on a background piece of paper just to sort of tie everything together. And I put this hot pink washi down, but it's the wrong hue compared to the other pink. So you'll see me pull that up in a little bit and find something else to put in there. I use my mat to, um, I, I frequently rip the washi when I want it to be smaller than the size that it comes in. But because I want the clean lines in this 80s look, I, I do just lay it down on my mat and use my X-Acto knife and ruler to cut that up. I don't think I have ever created quite the mess that my desk looks like when I am at the end of this layout. It's um, It was an interesting process for me. I really struggled with this. Um, the theme over at Spiegel Mom Scraps this month, so for all of the month of June, is the 80s or the 90s. And while I did grow up in the 80s or the 90s, I don't really have many pictures. And it made me sort of reflect back on how spoiled we are today to have the number of pictures that we have because with digital media we can take millions of pictures and just print the ones that we like whereas back when I was growing up you had film and you didn't want to pay for the processing of a million pictures um, so I have very few pictures of my childhood. I do have some. Um, most of them are back in Indiana where my parents are. Um, so most of the pictures that I have currently are of my own children or my family and our experiences in the past coming up on 18 years that we've been married. Um, so I digress. I'm back to building these letters. 
I copied the same A for hair in totally big hair and just use different colors and so you can see where I pulled that really hot hot pink washi off that didn't match the same colors and used something else in there. The um, black zigzag stripes I just used my silhouette to cut those from. The rest is either punches or me just fussy cutting shapes out. Um, the, this that that piece of paper that I'm cutting circles out of there is something that I made. I guess you could call this a hybrid layout in a way. It was just paper that I created from a pattern and I punch out a few circles because I, I can't figure out the size proportions that I want to make the top of that R there. And the funny thing is, is it, you know, they say when you're testing, go with your first instinct. I think sometimes that's always true when you're scrapbooking too, to go with your first instinct because several times I cut out circles and I end up reverting back to the original size that I originally cut out. So it was fun to just fussy cut some of those black squares, uh, not squares, rectangles, triangles, I'll get it at some point, triangles um, to embellish the, the letters with. I also go in and I use a fair amount of sequence. Uh, the sequence, sequence is the top of the eyes. Um, I put sequence in on one of the L's. It's the center of the O. And I think I do a few other pieces here and there just and throw in the with the paint splatters that you'll see that I add to the end there. Um, so there's all the letters minus the L and minus the G. Uh, I, I want to fill that space to the right of hair and triangles are a big thing in the 80s and, and the deco from the 80s. So I really like the shape of that, but I don't like, it's not dark enough to contrast with all the other bright and dark colors. So um, I find another piece, a darker piece, you'll see in a minute of pattern paper that I'll recut that out of. I do want the photo backed. Uh, it just, the yellow pop changes the hue of my skin color in the picture um, and it looks much more natural with the yellow behind it. I didn't lay that down straight. Um, so I'm starting to take all of the elements and adhere them down. It I, I didn't want to adhere them not knowing the spacing of how things were going to go, especially given that that big old G is missing. Um, and I, I did know that I had that other L missing. I just was in the process of getting all the other letters down. Um, I really like how this turned out. I, I like I said earlier, I really struggled with this 80s theme, and I have to say that I appreciate the challenge now that this layout is behind me, because um, I'm really pleased with the way that it came out. I, I don't know that I would have liked it so much if I had not had an 80s picture to go with this. So here you can see I'm shifting all the letters down to the left in order to get that um, second L in. I run a lot of my, because I have a lot of pieces of paper, smaller pieces of paper, I did use my Xyron sticker maker and ran a lot of that through the Xyron sticker maker. Um, I had to trim that L off there in order to fit another L in. And I just, the proportions of it were much better. So there's that second L in to make my title almost complete, my totally big hair. <laughs> um, and the sequence for the eye there. And I used four different sequence mixes here. I will list them in the comments below because honestly, I don't remember off the top of my head um, what it was as I'm doing this voiceover. I apologize, but it will be down in the comments for you. So more of that sticker maker to get these other letters down. And you can see I still haven't figured out how I'm gonna do that G. <laughs> um, but I do actually end up really liking it once it's done. There's, oh, that's the emoji sequence mix um, that I use some of the black, black from as well as one of the large pink ones. And after I get all of this adhered down, you'll see that I take some of my shimmers mist um, and I show you the shimmers here because you can get that from Spiegelmann scraps along with the sequence. Um, but then I go in after I've used the shimmers and I add two other colors in non-shimmers mists. Uh, 
paint splashes or big in the decoration of the 80s, the decor of the 80s. And so I did go in once I've got everything adhered down, covered up the picture, and put in some fun paint splashes to just to add to that fun 80s look there. Here we go, getting brave. Actually, no, this is uh, me redoing that triangle for that darker uh, contrast there, and I like that much better. I have that zigzag spot down the bottom, but what I actually end up doing, uh, and I do this off camera, I believe, is I take the, the, the negative of that cut and put that in at the bottom of the page there because I want to use that zigzag in the triangle, and I actually end up using a pink zigzag. One of the papers, pattern papers that I use that I cut things out of was um, a zigzag pattern, a uh, chevron pattern. And so I just literally used that from that piece of paper there as a guide and cut the pink chevron that'll go through that uh, black and white zebra stripe triangle there. So that is the G. It's actually two circles. And then I just cut a right angle out of that green. And I love that it looks like a Pac-Man minus the, the little right angle. Um, and the Pac-Man is perfect for the 80s because that is such an 80s arcade game. Um, a uh, little known secret about me is I used to go and skip school to go to the arcades and play Tetris. And I cannot tell you how much money I spent on the game of Tetris. Um, fun little known fact there. So there's a little black triangle, just little scraps from that black piece of paper that you can see on my trimmer to the right there that I just go in for a little added bling to the letters, um, more sequence to just emphasize some of the letters there. So here we are. We don't shake simmers, sh shake, we don't shake shimmers. <laughs> we, uh, in order to get the mica and all of the other fun shimmery goodies from the bottom of the bottle, you want to roll it between your hands is the best way to get shimmers going. So you can see that's the, this is the zigzag that I was talking about um, that I just cut to get a matching zigzag. And you can see the speed with which I'm doing this, but it was nowhere near this fast uh, in real life. So again, I explained earlier that this video was an hour and I've trimmed it down to what I hope is about 13 minutes. So that is all you're going to see on video there. In a little bit, um, I will show some close-ups and you'll see the additional mist that I put on off camera. So again, if you use Susanna, S-U-Z-A-N-N-A 15 at the Spiegel Mom Scrap store, you get 15% off. If you don't follow us at Spiegel Mom Scraps, I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos that myself and the other design team gals make. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you're inspired to hit the 80s up. Thanks a lot. Bye.